What is up weirdos, this is Jaren the Kid back with another video and in this video I will be telling you about my crazy New Year's Eve experience. Not to say that I got drunker or more wild than the rest of you, but I just I just got really fucked up and I want to tell you guys about it because why not? So my New Year's resolution was to give up drinking. That given, I wanted to get really fucked up on New Year's and that was my plan. I was going to go in, I was going to get really fucked up, drink as much as possible, have as much fun. Just just have a good time with my friends and get really drunk because I knew it was going to be the last time that I was gonna be getting drunk um, for the whole year. So, I got really fucked up. So one of my friends that lives down at ISU knows people who are having a party. We are all going to go down to ISU and we are going to go party down there with a bunch of his friends and a bunch of our friends and it was just going to be a good old time. We get there and it was super chill. Nothing had really been going on. There were only a few people there at first. I was drinking a beer. Um, nothing too serious is going on. And fast forward about an hour later. I'm slamming down beer. I'm slamming down Jim Beam. I'm slamming down vodka. Just weird ass mixtures of whatever I can get my hands on because I was really trying to get fucked up. That was a horrible idea because as you may know, it's not ever a good idea to combine copious amounts of beer and copious amounts of random hard liquor. It will really fuck up your stomach. Don't ever do it. Take my advice. Even if it's New Year's and you're trying to get trashed, there's other ways to go about getting trashed than drinking all different kinds of fucking alcohol, mixing beer and vodka and Jim Beam and hard liquors and oh, it's just not a fun time. So after I drank all this alcohol, I was feeling pretty good. I was feeling pretty confident. I was out on the fucking dance floor. I was dancing. Just kidding. There wasn't really a dance floor, but I was hanging out with people, talking, feeling extra social. Everything was going great. 12 o'clock is approaching. Still have quite a bit of time on my hands. Probably two hours till 12 o'clock. And I start feeling sick. You know that sickness that you get in your stomach when you know you fucking drank way too much beer and you're starting to feel nauseous and you, you just drank way too much alcohol. That's what I was starting to feel. And I was like, I don't know, man. I could probably ride this out. Everything will be okay. I'm just going to go to the bathroom. I might have to puke. But once I puke, I'll puke once, hopefully, and then everything will be okay. That was my original, you know, view of what was going to happen. Boy, was I wrong. So I go to the bathroom. I puke once. I come back out. I'm like, whew, I feel so much better now. Let's get back to partying. About another half an hour goes on. And throughout that half an hour... My stomach grew more nauseous, so I puked, and then I was becoming more nauseous after that. So I'm like, oh shit, this is not good. This is not what I want. I want to be able to enjoy my New Year's with my friends. I know I told myself I was going to get really fucked up, and I am really fucked up because I'm about to be puking a lot, and I knew I was because... I know every time I get really fucked up like this, I know when I have to puke a lot. So about half an hour goes by, and I'm like, oh, I gotta go to the bathroom again. I am just fucked up. I can't even, like, fucking see straight. My stomach is about to explode. I'm about to fucking puke. So I run up to the upstairs bathroom, and I fucking lock the door. Because I knew I was going to be in there for a while, so I lock the door. And I just start puking and puking and puking. I thought I was going to die, honestly. It was so bad. It was like... I was puking so much that I couldn't even catch a breath, which really scared me. And me and my friend Justin were just talking about this the other day. Like, you puke so much that you can't even catch your breath. It was, it was bad. And that went on for a solid hour. I was just curled up next to the toilet for a solid hour. And then after that, I finally get, like, gained the nerve to like get out of the bathroom. And uh, I was sitting outside of the bathroom just trying to pull myself together because I, I'd finally finished puking. And then all these started walking up to me. These random people I didn't even know. They were at the party. And they knew my name. They were like walking up to me like, Hey, Jaren, you need some water? Hey, Jaren, do you need some bread? So I'm like, yeah, I could really use some water. I could really use some bread. So these kind people, thank you, whoever you were, they brought me water and bread. And I was sipping on the water. And then, like, the bread kind of smelled. And I was, like, kind of suspicious. Like, what's up with this bread? I was like, man, I really need to eat this bread. So I ate it anyways, and it, oh, it tasted so bad. It was the worst bread I've ever had. I don't know if it was just, like, nasty old bread or if it was, like, some kind of weird-ass bread that I had never eaten before. It tasted like ass, though. It tasted like straight-up ass with a little bit of cheese. That's what it tasted like. But I'm trying to eat this bread because I knew I needed to sober up because I was in so much fucking pain. I just puked for a solid hour. And uh, I was like, I got to revitalize, recuperate. Um got to get my body back to the way it was before all this alcohol was in me. 
So I'm trying to down this bread and I'm trying to drink this water and it was just a horrible experience because the bread tastes like ass and I couldn't get the water down. So that went on for like another hour. So I spent an hour in the bathroom puking and I'm sitting outside the fucking bathroom for an hour drinking water and eating bread. Just like feeling like complete crap like I had the flu. And then after that, I go into my <laughs> my friend's dorm room and uh, I get next, I'm like laying next to his closet and I like curl up into a ball I grab the blanket off his bed and I'm just like curled up in a ball. I lay there for half an hour and then after that I check my phone. I'm like, oh shoot, it's like five minutes till New Year's. So then i like, oh shoot, I gotta go back downstairs and celebrate New Year's with everyone else. So I go back downstairs and I'm just chilling on the couch and everyone else is like, some people are chilling on the couch with me, some people are standing up, most people are standing up. I go down there for like 10 minutes until New Year's passes and then after that I go back upstairs and I curl up into the ball next to the closet again and I'm just waiting like oh yeah my friends are gonna be up here sooner or later and like another half an hour goes by and one by one they start coming up to the dorm room and they're like jaren you okay i'm like no i'm not okay but i hope you guys enjoyed your new year's and then <laughs> i was still really drunk i don't know how i was still so fucking drunk after puking that much um one of my friends was like hey man i'm gonna go get some food and i was like oh man i could really use some food he's like okay like i'll cover it i'm like no dude i'll give you money so we got food and we got calzones, and they were so fucking good. That calzone saved my goddamn life, let me tell you. If I did not have that calzone, I probably would have died in my sleep. That calzone helped me recover so much. Bless that calzone. But um, after eating the calzone, we just, like, fucked around a lot. And one of our friends was still really drunk, and he was, like, roasting everyone. And he was, like, roasting my YouTube videos. And he's like, Jaren, you're, like, four views, have an ass. And I'm like, you're not wrong, bro. <laughs> so that was kind of funny and uh, after that we finally went to sleep and then me and my other friend woke up pretty early and we went to go get some McDonald's to get more food into our systems because there's still a lot of alcohol the alcohol to blood ratio was not balanced at all so then we went to Mickey D's got some food brought food back for everyone else and uh, yeah that was my New Year's experience um, word of advice don't mix hard alcohol and beer um, limit yourself. There's a way to get fucked up without having to sit curled up next to a toilet for an hour. And, uh, yeah, just try to enjoy it. Enjoy your drunk. Don't, don't get too fucked up. But I hope you guys enjoyed this little story time video of my New Year's experience. Um, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. Go check out my social media in the description below. Go check out my website in the description below. Check out my shirts, not this shirt. But I have shirts on my website. And uh, as always, guys, stay weird.